Matthew Law. I'm from ML24. We are an automotive design company located in Toronto, Canada. And we specialize in automotive R&D. Uh, we produce body kits and we have our line of forged wheels as well. Uh, right here behind that you see is uh, Renee's car. It's uh, codenamed Project Breezy. Uh, he's one of our first customers and uh, he uses our uh, Scion FRS wide body fender arches. Um, it's finished in a Pacific teal color. It's uh, one of the first um, unique FRS wide body kits out there. And uh, its sports four fender arches are riveted on. It widens roughly one and a half inches in the front, two and a half in the rear. And uh, Rene mentions he is using nine inch wheels in the front and 10 inch wheels in the back. The reason for these fenders is because um, a lot of users wanted to go wider with the stands, wider with the uh, vehicle fitment and, and whatnot, but they wanted something to cover up the tires. And this is our, our interpretation and our design styling to give the, uh, give the car more shoulder, more hips, and but instead of just making uh, bulges on the fenders, we sculpted the top of the fenders to have a body line to follow the sculptural forms and surfaces of the OEM vehicle. Um, the OEM vehicle is actually a Subaru BRZ but Rene's, uh, Rene's build previously had a third party bumper, so he customized our body kit and made it fit this particular build. Uh, it's, a, it's a fantastic build, everybody loves it. The first, the first part of this project was, I really wanted to emphasize the shoulders and the hips of a vehicle, because when you look at a car, it's all a proportion. And uh, for example, if you look at a supercar, exotic car, like a Ferrari or Lamborghini, it's all about the hips and the shoulders, so like the female body. And this is something that I really want to emphasize on the BRZ and FRS, make it look like a supercar. So I created really, really well, wide and exaggerated shoulder lines. I create a crease on the fenders, so it's not it doesn't look too heavy, but at the same time, it makes it look like it's pushing out, makes it look like it's, it has really sexy curves. M ML24 is, uh, is basically an automotive design firm. We specialize in, uh, in producing um, private label work. Uh, we specialize in producing custom one-off stuff for customers. So customers that want a like, one-of-a-kind body kit or, or one-of-a-kind lip kits, one-of-a-kind interiors, we specialize in one-of-a-kind stuff. That way it's extremely unique, extremely exclusive, and nobody else has that, uh, has that product for their vehicle. Uh, we do any, everything from Japanese cars to European cars to Italian supercars. We work on all that stuff and we also have our own product line so people can actually purchase our products and put them on their vehicle. Um, we go through a very unique process of sketches, renderings, um, and, and 3D CAD, 3D scanning. We go through all that process. And uh, part of the reason why we emphasize that is because I actually graduated from transportation design um, in college. so. Um, I, have, I have the knowledge and the understanding from the, all the large automakers, from Mercedes, from BMW, and this is how they do it. And I'm trying to bring that technology into the aftermarket industry. Um, so we start with sketches. With sketches, they're quick, they're, they're, they're gesture sketches, they, they express a lot, they express the feeling of the, the, of the design. And then we narrow down the design to add some color to it, we see the surfaces, we discuss with the client to see uh, if, if everyone's on the same page, and then we move that into 3D CAD. And during the 3D CAD, we, uh, we have 3D scanning, we take the uh, virtual data off the vehicle, we mold and sculpt the design in 3D, and then after all that's done, we do some photorealistic renderings. Uh, we actually did a rendering for Renee's car, and we spin it around a computer, uh, visualize how it looks like, and then we send it off to our CNC machines.